Our mindset has so much power and often it's driving the bus and we don't even realize it. Being intentional about our mindset has the power to take a sucky day or a, or a certain situation and make it shine. Remember that one time that Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. There's so much truth here. Your thoughts have power beyond your wildest dreams. Today, buckle up for some hard truths and powerful tips on why mindset matters and how to get in the driver's seat with yours. I'm Tracy Bingaman. I'm a full-time working mom of five who got sick, burned out, quit my job, and now I teach women how to mom smarter, not harder. The pressures of modern motherhood are intense. If you're a busy working mom juggling all the balls and living in fear of dropping the exact wrong one. Here you'll find the tools you've been searching for to confidently prioritize your life and optimize your ability to rock all the hats that you choose to wear. I'll show you how to break through your limiting beliefs so you'll have more time and more money than you know what to do with. Because even in the busiest seasons of life, you can grow to master your money, own your time, and be the mom with all the margin. This is Fulfilled as a Mom. Fulfilled as a Mom is supported by Curl Vitality. One of the most challenging parts about having curly hair is not knowing exactly how to style it right after the shower. Enter the ultimate style guide. It's 10 tried and true methods to style your hair with a key that tells you which method will be best for your hair and what characteristics you'll achieve by using it. It's packed full of Barbara's top styling tips. The ultimate styling guide pairs well with the ultimate refresh guide. The answer to that question, what the heck do I do with my hair in between wash days? The link for both the ultimate style and the ultimate refresh guides is waiting for you in the show notes. But first, a story. The other day I was skiing with Colby. If you are new around here or you don't follow me on Instagram, first of all, Stop what you're doing and head to Instagram and follow me at Mrs. Tracy Bingaman. You won't regret it. So if you are not following me on social channels, you might not know how much I love skiing. I adore it. It is one of my very favorite things to do. I would do it all day, every day, all winter long, if that were feasible. I have been skiing since I was three. I skied in high school um, on the varsity ski team. Thank you very much. And after a seven year break while I was perpetually pregnant or nursing or pregnant or nursing or pregnant or nursing, I was back on snow. And this year is my second season and is bringing me all the joy. So back to the story. The other day I was skiing with Colby and he started complaining before we even got out of the freaking car. He was in a generally terrible mood, and as soon as we got in the lift, his toes were cold, his fingers were cold, his nose was cold. He complained the entire first run. He didn't want to try anything new. He didn't want to learn anything new. He didn't want to know how to stop or turn or do anything. He was just in the worst headspace. The whole way down, he was saying, I can't on a repeat. We went inside the lodge to warm up, and I asked him, what's the most powerful thing in your body? Your glutes, he exclaimed. There's power in that butt muscle, mom, he said. I was like, okay, touche, that's a good answer. But I was going with, it's your mind. It is so powerful. It has the ability to make or break your hour, your day, and really your entire life. We talked about how to get into a positive mindset and I pretended there was a light switch on the side of his head. We counted to three, I flipped the switch, and I told him that now he was in a positive mindset. <laughs> so we head out on the mountain to take run number two. And it was like he was a completely different kid. Instead of I can't, when he was struggling, he said something like, I'm learning and it's okay to fall. His inner dialogue had changed and the way he showed up was a 180 degree difference from the first run. Our mind is so freaking powerful. If we can learn to harness its power, to start getting our mind to a place of positivity, to see the opportunities to learn and grow and to be present in the moment, it can change our life. Here are three mindset shifts to transform your day. Positivity. Now, I'm not talking about like toxic positivity or positive vibes only or having the expectation that everything is going to go well, smoothly, and right 100% of the time. 
I'm talking about the ability to see the good in people, in the world, and in any situation. I'm talking about actively looking for the good, identifying what you can control, and putting a positive spin on whatever you're walking through. A positive mindset is something that it takes time to develop. You don't wake up one day seeing that everything is great. Take a moment to tune into how you're feeling, particularly if everything is going wrong and you are in just a crappy mood, and actively change your mindset. We see what we think about in the world around us. Think about what you want to see and create that positive energy in your life. If you are looking to connect with other moms on a quest to find fulfillment, head on over and join our exclusive community on Facebook, the Fulfilled Moms Club, where you'll find support, all the mom hacks, and the warm embrace of knowing that you are not alone in your struggles. It's the mom groups where positivity reigns, you can bounce ideas off other moms, and share your own knowledge, tips, and tricks with others. We'd love to have you join us. The link is waiting for you in the show notes. I've talked about this before, a growth mindset. A growth mindset is this belief that you have the ability to grow and improve. You might not be good at cooking, but you can learn. You might be struggling to connect with one of your kids, but you can get on their level and take an interest in something that matters to them and learn how to speak in their language. There is so much potential in this great wide world and the same potential exists inside of you. You do have the ability to learn new things and to see things differently. Take a moment to think of all the things that you can do now that you once had to learn. First, you learn to sit up or to roll over. You learn to babble and to walk and then to run, then to kick a wall, kick a ball, kick a ball. You could kick a wall too. <laughs> a cartwheel. You learned how to say your name and to talk and to drive a car. Your life, in fact, has been nothing but learning new skills and abilities. If you're feeling stuck, like you've plateaued and you haven't been taking the time to learn, if you feel like you've lost the vision for where you're going, and if you need a new plan because the way that you've been living isn't feeling great or fulfilling to you anymore, there is a one-on-one coaching spot with your name on it with me this month. I work with moms just like you to create a vision for their lives, make a strategic plan and specific steps on how to make that vision a reality. We do a lot of work with mindset and manifestation and momentum and mindfulness. Essentially anything that starts with an M, money, mom life, me time, we cover it all in coaching sessions that are gonna help you from going to, from feeling stuck where you are and overwhelmed and overworked to living a life that is by your own design. You can message me on Instagram or shoot me an email to hello at fulfilledasamom.com to learn more about this opportunity to work one-on-one with me. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is being present in the moment that you are in. It's not worrying about the future or fretting about the past. It's savoring and being tuned in to the sights, smells, and sensations and the feelings that you are having in each moment. Mindfulness is being where your feet are planted, mind, body, and soul. It's not scrolling on your phone at the dinner table, and it's not worrying about work on your commute in. It's not even daydreaming about being somewhere else while your first grader is reading you a story. Mindfulness is essentially the opposite of being on autopilot. You know that feeling where you're driving somewhere, you've been there a thousand times, and you just check out mentally. Your body is there, you're turning on your blinker, you're merging in traffic, you're driving safely, and suddenly your car is parked in the same spot you always park in, but your mind was somewhere else. You blink and you realize that you don't remember the last 10 minutes of your ride and you don't even know where your mind was. Being mindful in this world where we are distracted by technology, there's this endless supply of distraction in our pockets, radios, billboards, flashing lights, the frenzied movement. Training your mind to be present in the moment, it takes practice. My best advice from a novice turned like maybe intermediate um, meditator is to start small. Start with short duration of very limited times. Find a guided meditation that you love. 
One of my favorite resources for this is the book Breathe, Empower, Achieve by my friend Shonda Morales. It's filled with five minute mindfulness moments that you could start to integrate throughout your busy day. My favorites are the body scan, the coffee meditation, and the one that she says you should use when you're transitioning from one activity to another. The book is linked in the show notes and the audiobook can be used as a guided meditation. You can listen to the meditation at first before you get used to the series of events that she asks you to do. You know <laughs> that power of your glutes that Colby was talking about? Your mind has exponentially more power than your butt muscles. Harnessing the power of your mind is a lifelong journey. Be generous in grace and patient with yourself. You have these neural pathways that you have established throughout the years and years and years of habits and conditioning. It's not going to change overnight, and it is so worth it to work on being in control of your mind. Your thoughts control your beliefs, your actions, and the way that you see yourself and the way that you show up in the world. The best part is that you get to control your thoughts. You get to decide what you feed your brain and your brain, it really doesn't know any better. It believes what you will tell it. So if you tell your brain that you are this exhausted mom who will always ever be exhausted, frayed, frazzled, and rushing from place to place with way too many things on her plate, that's what you will believe. On the other hand, if you tell your brain that you are an energetic mom who creates her own vibes, brings the joy, and has all the time in the world, that one who is good with money, then that's who, what your brain will believe and you will start acting accordingly. It's not magic. It's intentional manifestation. It's training your mind for the things that you want it to believe. It's filtering out all the things that society tells you and choosing what you actually want to believe. It's not quite as easy as turning on or off a light switch, but by being mindful and leaning into a growth mindset, bringing the positivity and cultivating joy, small changes compound over time. So the next time that you squat and flex your glutes, think about your mindset and how much more powerful your mind is than your butt muscles. Thanks for being here. I'm doing a victory dance right now because you did it. You took the time to tune in, to reach for a better life, and to take care of you. Did our time together go by way too fast for anyone else? Head to fulfilledasamom.com for show notes and all the discount codes from today's show. You now have the tools and knowledge to change your life. Go blaze your trail, take that step, make the shift, and do the work to create fulfillment in your life today.